Yo, this is Chris from Hailstorm, and you're watching The Age of Metal. This is Jackie with the Age of Metal, and here I am with Chris from Elstorm. How are you? Hello. Um, we're uh, we're great. I'm great. Everything's wonderful. Awesome. So the tour right now, you're on tour right now with Insomnium and Epica. How's the tour been going so far? It's been uh, it's been very long. We're on day 27 or 8 or something horrendous like that, and um, we're getting towards the end of it. This is the final week, but it's been great. Some really big shows, some good drunken parties, and. Uh, doing a bit of sightseeing as well, so yeah, having a great time. Oh, that's great to hear. Any specific state that you've had a really good time at? Uh, well, you know, California is kind of just, it's kind of the coolest place in the world, so uh, yeah, we've been there for the last three or four days and it's been, had a really good time there, so yeah. But yeah, Arizona's nice as well. <laughs> Arizona's cool. It's actually cool here today, so. You, you call this cold? Yeah. Uh, mm, yeah. As well. good as it gets. Yeah, um, this is the, one of the warmest days I've ever had. <laughs> You don't know the meaning of the word cold. So, um, you guys are kind of considered, you are classified as a pirate metal band. Um, what, what would you say inspired you to actually come up with the theme of the band? I don't know, it's, it's always one of these questions I never quite know how to answer it, but, um, so I make something else different every time, but, uh, <laughs> um, you know, you've got to sing about something. The whole Viking thing's been done to death, and all this, all these other things that bands sing about, like death and Satan, whatever. It's all, it's all been overdone. So we just wanted to sing about something different, you know, something that makes people want to party and things, which is what we're here for, party. <laughs> so your latest album, Back Through Time, has been out about a year now, um, yeah. almost a year. Well, a year and three months, actually. Yeah, three months. over a year. Yeah, over a year. Over a year. So, um, have you guys thought about writing for the new album? Well, um, the next thing we're doing is we're going to Australia in January. He's nodding, he's nodding. That's a good sign. We're in January to film a DVD, and that's going to be the next thing we do. That's going to keep us going for most of next year. But then, once people get bored of that, which is probably going to be a week after it comes out, um, we'll um, start working on album number five. Five? No, four. Up in four, yeah. Wow. <laughs> so for those shows um, in New Zealand and Australia, do you have anything special planned? I mean, it's there's nothing particularly ridiculous. We're just going to put on a really good show. Like, I mean, we've not really had many opportunities to headline before in anywhere in the world. So we're going to finally do a good headlining show with a full production of like you know a nice stage, nice lighting, good sound. Good. It's just going to be perfect. You know, it's going to be a perfect show, really. But like no. No gimmicks for this one, you know. We'll save that for the next DVD. Oh, okay. So like, no pirate ships on no stage. No pirate ships. Um, it's our plan to eventually get a a working bar on stage and get some like you know hot bar made to serve as drinks for the whole show. But um, but we'll save that until you know maybe later on. So on this album, you also had um, Ken Sorceron featured yeah. on a track. He's from here, isn't he? Or yeah, he's. I think he's from Arizona, but yeah, um, he lives up in Washington State. Yeah, he moved. I think, um, but on that how did you guys um, ask him to be a part of it or how did that all come up well it was actually um, our record producer had worked with him on some previous project I'm not sure what and I was when we were in the studio I was like right I want to get a guest vocalist for this bit someone who can do these awesome screams and he was like well, why not Ken like cool so he got in touch sorted it out and he was like super keen on doing it he, he actually likes the song you know I know mostly what he does is kind of black metal stuff but uh, he appreciated the music so yeah he just recorded his parts sent over and it was just the most insane thing we've ever heard so really pleased with that is that something you'd like to do also in the future like collaborate with another art artist yeah I'd love to do that I'd just love to get um, some more guest musicians or even like do a whole album working with some other people you know because uh, as it is right now I write most of the stuff for this band just on my own and it kind of gets uh, it gets frustrating it'd be nice to just have other people you know to bounce ideas off so yeah is there anyone specific you can think of that you'd like to work with? You know, I'm so not picky. I don't care what genre, what style of music, anything. You know, I, you know, I could work with anyone. I'm sure if they can write good songs. We just make the stupidest album of all time. Like, I don't. 
some rapper. I'd love to work with a rapper. A rapper. Or like some, or DJ. Just just something ridiculous like that. Just something completely different. Not just some random metal musician. Just something. I want to make the stupidest album of all time. Stupidest. So that's your goal. That's my goal in life. That's what I'm here on this earth to do. <laughs> so you guys um did do a music video for a track on the song on the album. Um, it has a lot of really good graphics, and it's a really good video. Were you guys planning on doing any others for any other songs? Well, we've, um, we've actually done two from the latest album. We did a um, song Shipwrecked and the song Death Throws to the Terror Squid, which is, the, I guess, that's the one with all the crazy effects and things. Um, I think we've, I don't know, doing more videos from that album would be a bit silly. We'll, we'll wait till the next album comes out, and then we'll go even crazier, like... Uh, we want to do a video just like just in a bar of you know just some kind of ye olde pirate tavern with us playing and a big crowd of pirates just getting drunk and killing each other. I think that'd make for a really good video. And at the end, everyone's just dead. And we're just <laughs> playing. It's like yeah, but um, you know, lots of ideas for the future. But I think to be honest, this album have done it, it's run its course in terms of all the promo nonsense we could ever do for it. So we're kind of we're kind of lucky that we're being able to tour in it even still because I'm you know this is our third tour in the USA since we released the album so um, we're getting some good mileage out of it awesome um, last time you guys were here in Arizona I actually did get to see a fan wearing a pirate hat and um, an eye patch this do happens you, sometimes do yes. you encourage your fans to dress up to your shows oh, or is we, it something what do you think of that I mean I think it's always good to know who your fans are like you know especially on these tours with the support band you know I mean most people are probably here to see Epica and but when you see a bunch of kids with pirate hats you go yes we have fans here today <laughs> so that's always great you know it's and they're always usually the most insane people in the pit is like the, the people dressed up they take it really far they really enjoy the music so yeah we, we approve we approve of people in pirate hats so everyone yeah. should uh, go get a pirate hat everyone everyone and an eye patch I know. two eye patches two so they can't see you then okay <laughs> yeah <laughs> So, um, in January, um, after you do the whole DVD thing, it also was announced that um, you'll be the headliners for the pa European Pagan yes. Fest tour, which is very exciting. How excited are you about it's, the lineup on that? It's first ever. It's our first ever, you know, headlining tour of Europe, you know, and it's. Uh, I think it's a pretty strong lineup. You know, it's there's a lot of bands, you know, playing below us. It's kind of you know quite nice to know that you know, we're bigger than some people even though we're not really but you know, it's, you know, it's, it's nice to know that there's all these bands supporting us because like we used to always be like the support band and stuff so it, it's, a, it's a nice feeling but I mean it's, there's some cool bands on there like uh, like Wolf Chant and they're good and yeah, uh, there's Arcona. Arcona we've played to them like a hundred times or yeah. like they're, they're, they're good friends of ours they're nice to always nice to tour with I think Varg on select yeah, dates Varg. and then Tharfing yeah, they're, yeah they're, I, I, was, I used to be a fan of them like well not I'm not but like you know I used to be into that sort of Viking metal thing quite a lot so uh, these days I've um, kind of gone off the whole Vikingy pagany folky stuff but I still enjoy some of the music so yeah I don't think they've been touring at all no, really lately really. they kind of died down a little bit yeah it's there's a lot of bands on this tour that haven't toured much before so that's good I mean apart from Arcona we, we tour it all the time but yeah, it's a it's a good lineup I approve. I approve. <laughs> so, um, do you think they'll be um, making that tour as, in the U.S. as well? Um, well, there's Pagan Fest in the U.S., but that's an, an entirely separate um, thing. It's like they're almost unrelated. But we're going to be coming back to the U.S.A. We're already planning it right now to come back with our own headlining tour with a bunch of bands, like sometime next year, and um, we'll, we'll try and bring a good lineup. You know, all the, all the best bands. All the worst bands as well. All the good ones. <laughs> we'll see what happens though. So, Mom, as far as your fan base, uh, would you say you have more of a response in the US or in foreign countries? I mean, there's some places in the US where, like, um, like, the, like the really big cities, you know, the response here is phenomenal. Like, some of the, the best crowds we've ever played to is, like, you know, like, like, say the big cities in California or, like, or up in Canada or. Um, or New York City and those kind of big cities on the East Coast. It's like a phenomenal fan base there, really good stuff. But um, yeah, I think it's some of the best crowds are here. I mean, like, you get a, I mean, you get bigger crowds in Europe. That's just because I don't know more people like metal. But it's I think it's a lot more fun playing here. I more like fun. it. Yeah, it's more fun playing in America. What do you say the American fans a little bit more? 
taking the pirate theme to like in a, more of an extreme, actually yeah. wearing hats. Do European people do that? But European people wear hats as well. Oh, they do? I didn't know. <laughs> they, wear, they wear three eye patches at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> they, they have, that's, that's dedication. You know? But yeah, we, we, we get the whole dressy up thing all around the world. It's, uh, but I think, I think maybe a bit more in America. I think you kids love your costumes here. We do. Silly Americans. You silly Americans. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, as far as touring, um, once you're all, your other project that you have going on, Glory Hammer. Yes. Yes. Um, yes. It's very exciting. It's completely different than Ailstorm. It is. Um, Fantasy, heroic, power metal, I think, is the way that it was described. Um, how did you come up with that? And why did you feel that you would want to go in that direction? I mean, I've always liked power metal. It's been one of these things I listen to, like, ever since I was, like, a wee kid. Well, we never started listening to metal, really. But, um, like, with Ailstorm, the stuff we do is we're, we're going towards a more kind of rough and, you know, angry sort of piratey sort of folky vibe. Like, uh, and so we're kind of getting away from that power metal edge. So I thought I wanted to start a new band that's just proper really gay, cheesy power metal with lots of orchestras and, this, and an amazing singer who can go, yeah, and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. So um, I just wanted to do that. So we, I just contacted a bunch of guys and said, hey, do you want to be in a band? And they were like, sure. And then we've got this lineup of um, really amazing musicians, uh, like just mostly friends of mine. And like the singer we found, he's a, we found him because he was auditioning to be in Dragon Force. Like there was some big web audition they had to get singer a couple of years ago, and we found this guy. I was like, we want this guy. He has to be in our band. So we contacted him. He said yes, and he's just phenomenal. And um, yeah, it's. I'm so looking forward to it. Like the album is so very, very close to being finished. Like, um, hopefully, it'll be finished on Monday. Like, Monday. It's, it's, okay. it's, that's that's how it means this. Of course, it's, there's been so many delays. There's been delays every every month. It's got more delayed, but um. Monday is is a deadline we have been given by the record label. I mean, I'm sure if we miss it, they'll give us a new one. But um, that's what we're hoping for. Like all the artwork's finished, all the uh, all the orchestration that was taking the longest. Like we, because we had this crazy, crazy over the top orchestral arrangements with like you know, full orchestra and everything, and it's going to be the most ridiculously over the top album you've ever heard. Really? Ever? Really? Well, then I'm very excited now. It's uh, planned for release early next year. Year. Do you guys plan on touring for yes. that? Oh yes, we're going to come to America, we're going to do everywhere, but yeah, America is one of the places I want to take this to, because uh, I think it would work here. People come to the show dressed as wizards or something, that, that's, <laughs> I'd love to see that. With a wizard beard? <laughs> yes. And a hat. That'd be amazing. Oh, of course the hat. Of you know. course. You can't have a Everyone wizard. loves hats, you know. Exactly. <laughs> so what's next for Ailstorm? Well, as uh, finishing this tour, we're going to go home and sleep for two months, well, then we go to uh, Australia make a DVD then do Europe with Pagan Fest and a few extra shows after that then it's the summer festivals we've got some really big festivals planned nothing we can unfortunately announce yet but uh, hopefully soon you'll all hear about it then we'll come back to America um, late next summer then we want to go to ridiculous places like we want to do Japan we want to do South America we want to do everywhere like that then once we've done that album four and then Rinse and repeat. Rinse and repeat. Yes. <laughs> well, thank you so much for joining us today, and it's good luck with the rest of the tour. Thank you very much.